up YouTube, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, I'm Katie and on today's video we're going to be doing my August week one budget check-in. So on this video I just like to check in with all of my budget categories to make sure we are on track because we are monthly budgeters but a month is a long time to go without checking in on your budget. So I like to do weekly check-ins just to make sure things are going well. And then I can see where we need to kind of cut back or if we have a little more money, we can spend a little more if we want to. So that is the purpose of these videos. So before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you guys so, so much for all of your kind comments on my community post about Lucy. Um, it's been rough without her. It definitely doesn't feel the same anymore and it feels like you know there's like a piece of us missing and mark and i especially have been really struggling with it but i do think um you know everything happened in the best way it could have and i think she had a really good life so we are trying to kind of find a new normal i don't think anything will ever be the same as it was before but we're trying to find a new normal and kind of stay busy and get back into our routine so that's all I'm going to say about that, but I just wanted to tell you guys, thank you so much. You are so kind and loving, and I just appreciate you guys. So now on to the budget check-in. So we have less categories than we used to because if you guys watched my August budget video, my like monthly setup, then you'll know that I changed my budget a little bit from how it used to be. So we have less categories that we are doing check-ins with, but even so, we still have quite a few transactions to go through this this week um usually the first week is definitely the most spendy for us so let's go ahead and jump into it so we're going from the first of august through the 7th of august so on the first we did take lucy to the vet and um this was 211 dollars 98 this came out of our pet category this was not her final vet visit um it was one where we were um, still kind of trying to help her and see what we could do so 211 dollars for that um, next was Ninja Class for my son Liam. This comes out on the first of the month, like automatically every month. This is just like an extracurricular kind of activity that he does. It's like obstacles, kind of like American Ninja Warrior, but for kids, um, easier than that, but he has a lot of fun with it. Then we have gas. So I got gas at Kroger in the car that I drive. So that was $40.09. And this was out of our gas fund from Kroger. And then Mark actually stopped on Costco for me this day on his way home from work and he grabbed a couple of drinks and snack items. So this was $105.81 and that came out of our grocery haul as well. And if you guys love Costco hauls, I know I haven't done one in a while. I guess let me know if you miss those and if you want to see those again. But if you guys love Costco hauls, go watch Courtney at Kirby Eat Chronicles. I will link her down below. She is so hilarious. I love all of her videos, but of course her Costco hauls are my favorite because I love Costco hauls. But um, she is just so funny and I've enjoyed watching her videos um, kind of in this, you know, crappy, sad week that we've been having because she just cheers me up. Her personality is just the best. So go watch her if you don't already. She's amazing. Then on the 2nd of August, I bought a baby gift for a friend from Costco, but this was online. I didn't go to the store. So this was $79.98 and that came out of our gift category. And then on the 3rd of August, I had a no spend. Oh, I just wanted to say too that um, the 2nd was the next time Lucy went to the vet and um, it was like the last time she went to the vet. So I don't have a charge on the budget for this because Mark actually got some bonus income that I was going to include in the budget. Um, but because everything happened with her, I just used that to cover her final vet bill because it was pretty expensive because we, um, when we went in for the vet, the last vet visit, um, we didn't know we were going to have to put her down that day. We, um, we thought they could do more to, to help her, but they did an x-ray and um, if you want to know more, you can read my community post. But anyway, um, it was an expensive vet bill because of the x-ray and stuff. So um, we had to, we used part of his bonus money to pay for that. And then we used the other part to pay for my boys, um, Logan and Liam, to do art class for the entire semester. So if you guys remember, like last year, I would always pay um, for Logan to do art class at school every single month that would come out. And this year she gave us the option to just pay for the whole semester at once. So I just did that so that I don't have to worry about it. So that's kind of where his bonus money went and I'm not gonna include it in the budget or anything just because um, 
it was like unexpected for us to have to do it with with Lucy but I'm glad we had the money but yeah it's just that's where it went to Lucy and to the art class and we're just going to be done with it and then we have August 4th here so we did do our like regular grocery haul on the, this day so when we went to Costco on the first that was just snacks and drinks this was more like meal type food that we needed. So this was $246.28 from Publix and that came out of our grocery fund. And then Mark did buy lottery tickets. Um, he Venmoed some people from his work. I thought the lottery was like over, like people won, but I guess not, I don't know. So that came out of his spending. And then on the fifth, I had my hair appointment. So this was $296.89 that included the cut or no i didn't get my hair cut that included the color toner um some products that i bought and the tip to my hair lady so it's a lot of money but it, it covers a lot of things and i try to only go every other month so that came out of my spending and then on the fifth we bought school supplies for the boys so we got out of the house went to target and um this was we had already bought some of our school supplies from amazon previously and then this was just some other things that we needed that we either I couldn't find on Amazon or I was pretty sure I could find cheaper in store. So this was $141.48 for some of their school supplies. I think we're still missing a couple of things, but we'll, we'll take care of that. So I took that out of my boy spending. And the reason why this comes out of my boy spending now and not the school fund is because I'm putting more money into my boy spending now. Um, to cover these things because we have a school sinking fund, but it's not ready right now. So I'm just like starting the sinking fund. So once that gets built up, then I will take money out of the school sinking fund to cover these things. But for right now, I'm taking it out of my boy spending, but I purposely gave them more money this month because I knew we would have to buy school supplies. So it all works out. Again, on the 5th at Target, I bought a dog toy for the Huskies. And this was $9.99 from our pet fund. And this was basically just because I was feeling kind of bad for the Huskies because the whole like past two weeks, they definitely didn't get as much attention as they would normally get because Lucy was sick. So um, I felt kind of bad for them. So I did buy them a toy and they, they love their toys. So they, they tear them apart like super quickly, <laughs> but they love their toys. Also at Target on the 5th, I bought myself some conditioner. So this was, you know, just for my hair conditioner and that was $5.99 and that came out of our grocery fund. And then also on the 5th at Target, I had a lot of things at Target, I guess, this day. I bought some cards. So I needed a birthday card for someone and a couple of other cards. So that was $17.07 and that came out of my gift category. And then also on the 5th, this was at Amazon though, I bought a birthday gift for a friend that was $12.13 and that also came out of our gift fund. And then again on the 5th, man, we had a lot on the 5th. Wow. Okay. Again on the 5th, we <laughs> paid the boys for their chores. So they did not do as many chores this week as they normally would, obviously because of everything happening with Lucy. I was like, don't worry about your chores. Just it's okay to not do anything and be sad and be lazy. And that's what we did for a few days. Like there was a couple of days where we all just kind of laid around and basically did nothing. So <laughs> $12 to them for their chores for this week. And then on the 6th, we had a no spend. And on the 7th, we bought a few things from Etsy for Lucy. So it says Shushu because that was her nickname. We we um, named her Lucy from Lucille Ball from I Love Lucy because that was like my favorite show growing up. So I named her Lucy from that. Um, but when we got her, Logan was only a year old. So we called her Lucy Lou and he could not say Lucy Lou. So he called her Shushu and that just kind of stuck. So that was like, we called her Shushu more than Lucy. Like we always called her Shushu. So we bought some things on Etsy to kind of like remember her, not that we would ever forget her, but just some um, like special things for her. Like we bought a pillow that looks like her and then we bought, um, I bought a necklace that's gonna have her like face engraved in it. And I bought Mark like a similar one, but it's a keychain. So I will, if they look cool, I'll show them to you when we get them, but I don't have them yet. So that was $75.53 from Etsy. And I did take that out of the gift fund, even though it was for us, but, I don't know. It felt like it was okay because it was like gifts to us, like from Lucy kind of. I don't know, but I did take it out of our gift fund. I didn't know where else to take it from. I could have taken it out of our personal spending, like mine and Mark's, but I don't know. I just took it out of our gift fund because it was like gifts to ourselves for Lucy. So 
that was all of the spending that we had this week. And then let's go look at our budget categories and see how much money we have left in each one. All right, so our first budget category is our grocery budget. So we're doing a $15, $15, $1,500 $1, this month. $15, we would starve. Okay, so the first week we spent $359, which is a lot, but we did up our grocery budget this month, so I think it's okay. So we still have $1,141 left for the month. Then for gas, we started with 275. We only spent 41 this week because we only got gas for one of the cars. So next week, I'm sure we'll have to get gas for both of them. For my boys spending, they started with $425. Again, they got extra this month because I knew we were gonna have to do school supplies. So we spent 242 so far and they have 183 left. For Mark spending, he started with 250. He only spent eight the first week and he has 242 left. For my spending, I started with 350. I spent 297 and I have 53 left. For our pet spending, we started with 375. We spent 222 the first week and we have 153 left. I'm hoping that will be fine. Um, actually, no, it probably won't be fine because I forgot Loki has a vet visit coming up this month and it's his like annual vet visit where he gets all of his vaccines and stuff so he has to go to that um so we're definitely going to go over on our pet budget actually so if we didn't have that that bill we probably wouldn't go over but we're definitely going to go over so i will have to figure out you know when i do my budget close out for the month where that money is going to come from but yes this will not be fine and we need more money but Obviously, I wasn't, when I made my monthly budget, I wasn't expecting all of the Lucy stuff to happen. So it's okay. It was unexpected, but I would pay it over and over again to help her if I had to. So it's fine. For gifts, we started out with $550. We spent $187 this week and we have $363 left. And this should all pretty much go to Logan's birthday. So he has a birthday at the end of August or close to the end of August. So um, mostly he just wants money, but I am going to buy him a few gifts because I want him to have something to open because that's just more fun. But most of this money is going to go to Logan for sure for his birthday. And then for eating out, we actually did not eat out at all this week. So we spent nothing there. So we still have 262 left and that's what we started with. For miscellaneous, again, we didn't spend anything. So we started out with 45. We didn't spend anything. So we still have 45. So we're still looking pretty good in all of our budget categories. So any categories that I used to have that you don't see anymore, those are now sinking funds. So if you're wondering like what happened to house things and like car maintenance and stuff like that, those are sinking funds now. So I will not be doing a weekly check-in on those, but you will see like a monthly sinking, sinking fund update. So if you're wondering like, okay, well, what if you buy something for your car or whatever, you will see those in my monthly sinking fund update. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how you feel about the like less, the less funds that I have to check in. I still feel like this video went just as long, but I was probably talking a lot too. So let me know what you think. I appreciate you guys watching. I thank you again for being so kind to me. I truly appreciate you all and I don't deserve you, but I, I love you and that's weird. So yeah. Okay. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.